Let's get it on. Straight into the pistol round here. EG on the T side of things, and they're going right into the B bomb site. Release the tunnels to kick things off. Liquid on the defense. Very heavy setup towards middle. They're about to realize exactly what's going on, and they've got the flank coming in from lower. Yeah, Naf gonna try and hold the line. Flashbang in from Nitro, and everybody's blind. Naf puts two on the board. Nitro. Ready, waiting, raring to go, puts up one of his own, and this B-bomb site does not belong to EG. It's only Stanislaw left, and they barrel through the smoke after him. Team Liquid, they're going to get the pistol round on the board and go one and up here in their map pick. Oh dear, it's a bit of a mess. The scout tag is not enough as EG find the kills in middle. They take the advantage and they set up for the B split. Nitro, he turns around to fight door and he gets shot in the back of the head. Stan pushing, smokes him through the B site and it's a mop up for EG. They absolutely slaughter the rotations of Liquid. Naf had some fantastic performances on this AWP, especially in the beginning of the Pro League. And my word. From Tarek to see how much more pressure he can get over at B. Liquid, they got two AWPs into this fifth round and Still the second one yet to be seen. This coming up from the pit doesn't get the kill. Breezy's going to spot him first and EG keep the advantage in this one. The advantage that was started by Ethan dropping Nitro through the doors off spawn. Long finally been taken. We've not seen much control here to start this map off, but EG are going to be shifting their way up towards the A site. Cross smokes can come down. Stewie might be in a world of hurt if he doesn't reposition. He's not getting lurked on the catwalk just yet, but if he peeks out wide, there's an orb at the backside. He does drop Stan up close instead and falls back to play the plant. Nice shot from Stewie, doubling up with his AWP, and it's left Cirque in the hot seat. That it has. He's going to cross. He's going to get tagged on it too. 72 oh. HP, Stewie. Has the setup, has the lineup, has the shot even. And Liquid just spot it from the doors. They are not poised too well for what could be a mid to be. And that means their players need to step up and get multi-kills, the both of them, if they want to hold this site. We know how hard that retake can be on B. One good thing is a liege playing the crossroads with this Krieg has Stewie alongside him. And these are both devastating scoped weapons that could maybe help out with this mid to be, but they haven't been able to find anything. And EG are already up close. Naf and Nitro hold the line for a oh. moment, but only for a moment, as the B bomb site now does belong to EG. Ethan is still lying in wait down here in mid, and he catches twists up on the catwalk. A liege and Stewie now throw it into this two on three retake. Three CZs in this round they're able to put a third on the board let's do with a very aggressive angle now any second now he's going to get that contact i'm pretty sure they saw his shoulder maybe stands will be the first to peak and that'll prove to be a fatal error worse than a blue screen Tarek also Ooh. makes the same error they clean him up on catwalk Stu gets two twists with one and just breeze yeah, it's not Penny dropping, it's Penny pinching here for Breezy as he holds on it to the Krieg. Yeah, best of five final here, Trace, in the ESL Pro League. And of course, the team that came from the upper bracket was Liquid. They won that match by beating EG earlier in the tournament. Naf is all alone here at the back of B. He's got to try and stand the test of time with this AWP. Molotov goes in, but it's Ooh. not for the back site. Naf gets one, but immediately shut down. Breezy deals with him on the Krieg. And for the rest of Liquid, they're, they're already locked out of this round. There's no chance they can go for it. So he's going to drop the Molotov onto Bricks. It's going to put a little bit of a thorn in the side of Evil Geniuses. In the meantime, the contact here from Twist towards Long. Nice. It's one. Looks for the second. Stewie's going to be there to help him out. And that's going to push EG off of Long for sure. Yeah, now you're relying on these catwalk Ooh. players and Stanislaw will provide at the very, very least. He's carved a path into the A-bomb site. But Cirque, with the bomb, who was rotating in late from long, gets dropped by a liege. And now Tarek on the chopping block, trying to Whoa. get control of the bomb. And he has got his hands back on it with this double kill. Now running into the bomb nice. site. Seven seconds. I don't think he can get there in the time. Kills. So they're hunting for the kills. And Liquid are just hiding away. It's all gone wrong. 4EG, in oh. spite of Tarek's best efforts over in mid. A seventh round on the board for Liquid. Great kills, but unfortunately not enough. He hunts, he chases, but Liquid hide, and they get seven on the CT side. Fast play for Stan, he knows they're in the pit. Twist has been at every single round, and they'll deal with him. Those are those long smokes that we saw from Rush before the game. But they don't molly him out, so to say, but he is holding for him. Ooh, now for sure the cover's gone. Cirque takes the shot, Elise stays alive, good for one. 
trades are going to go in the way of EG. You're right. Liquid way out of position there. And take them down. That five on three is so hard to convert as a CT because you know EG is just going to trade their way into the site as they did. That's a great start, though. Nitro dropping Tarek in no man's land. Now they know that the tunnels are clear. And EG, usually, if you want to try and go back to B at all, you keep a man in those tunnels. So this is just a mid to B fake with the A execute liquid. They have oh. the information. Naf has flanked the lower tunnels and now EG, they know. They're like, oh, oh, damn, they're behind us. They know we're going A, so we've got to pick up the pace. We've got to get a move on. And they try and hold for these rotations. Nitro's got his hands on an orb, but it's Naf still putting up numbers. Breezy does what he can, but you can't get past Naf, who shuts down four to put an eighth round on the board for Team Liquid. So is history going to repeat itself? Is it going to be another 9-6? Are our Team Liquid here Ooh. to take a trophy? They do deal with Cirque over in the tunnels, and Naf tries to readjust there to deal with the second man on the cross. He's just firing in, just uh, keeping the pressure on to these B-site players. In the oh, meantime, dear. they try and get out through middle, and oh no, Nitro has dealt with both players there. Breezy and Ethan suddenly throwing in to a two-on-five, and even at the realm of the B-site, it's a two-on-three. It's overwhelming odds stacked against them, and it's too much for them to get past. Team Liquid, 10-5. It's going to have support from Circle on that rotate, but right now Liquid are looking to go hot into the site. Yeah, bear in mind Breezy and Ethan's position over here on the catwalk. Tarek is even holding long from Cat, so these are very, very fast rotations that can come through in toward this B bomb site. Is that going to make up for there only being one man here for EG, however? These smokes go in, the Molotovs to follow. Stanislaw trying to get himself out of danger. He's somehow still alive. I, wow. There we go. The death does come swiftly wow. to Stanislaw. Everything's going in favor oh, of Team Liquid. Dear. Ethan's gone, and it's only Tarek left all alone. The rest Woo. of his team have fallen. They're going to be able to float between mid and this A site, and that's going to come in handy because Liquid, they've just faked this catwalk play. Now they drop down to middle, and this is where this double CT setup could do some favors for EG, but it also could hold them back because Tarek's got to do a lot from oh, this boost. Dear. He's the only guy who can help with mid, and he actually goes Hello? through the smoke. No one's watching it. Tarek's just done so much damage, and finally the kills come in. And now this double CT setup had to do a lot because there was only one man at that B side of the map as a result result thankfully eg have been able to keep this with a man advantage 3v2 in the retake of this b bomb site all three players down in middle Sirk not gonna move from ct he's holding for team liquid to try and take this peak and they are not doing that twists clears the tunnels oh. out and does best breezy in the head-to-head -head. pressure's on now for stan and Sirk as this is even odds in the two on two that util is going to be problematic but stan is going to be able to walk right through it the smoke doesn't go into the door so Dewey has to hold the line, dinked on the first fight. He's the last man that stands and Cirque will finish off the job. Ten players up in the server as the bomb gets planted. The time is the biggest problem for EG. They can't afford to sneak forever. Naf's on this lurk. He's coming in late and they've started to uh, completely discount this position and not even considering the long flank at this point in the round. Cirque's going to turn back, but he doesn't spot it. Stewie with the opening kill and it's all falling apart. Stewie with two. There's the flank. It's not even needed. Naf just gets one on the orb of Cirque and it will be the round coming in for Liquid. And so I almost wonder if this is going to be a fake for Team Liquid or if they just commit, right? If they commit, they're running into three players here. And with only 25 seconds, they don't really have many options. They have to just go for these kills on A. And Cirque, trying to hold the crossroads, gets flashed off. Flashes everywhere. Breezy has been allowed to reposition over here on the ramp in the meantime. And he takes this round into his own hands. It's only Stewie left. And there's no time for him. EG... They're able to hold on to A. They keep Team Liquid at bay and they put an 11th round up on the board. This is where, as a result of them winning that one flawless round earlier on over on the CT side of building up a bit of a bank account and then still finding success on the back of it, has really come back to help EG out in long in this game to the finish line. 11 to 14, three rounds behind Team Liquid again. And a real chance to make this comeback happen. Yeah, they've got the money, and look at what they've done with it. Double AWP, we know how many players on EG can pick up this weapon, and Stan is going to take it for the time being. Spam down the mid doors will find nothing with these two Kriegs in the hand of Liquid. They have leaned away from the AWP in this T side so far. That might change once they get a taste of the action that EG are bringing to the plate. Where will they find these orbs? That's a question. But one sitting in the back of B and Stan... Look, of course, pivoting long and short. Right there in the previous round was EG setting up, you know, better for the A play, right? You know, 
They're going to throw Twist down below. You'd think so, but look at Tarek. Look at Tarek's spot right now. If they do try to jump off into CT, this is going to be a little bit of trouble. Oh! Unless they go towards A. Tarek's going to storm through that smoke after Twist takes down Cirque, who was the long player. That does leave just Breezy over there towards Pit, but that's a free bomb plant for Elite yeah. and company. Yeah, the retakes on now for EG, and a lot of this hinges on Tarek and Co. finding something from this CT position. This is such a horrible fight to have to take as well. I mean, there's just so many angles you've got to worry about. Tarek, along with Breezy, have at least opened this up. Ethan now comes in. That's trying Whoa! to hold the line. And oh, oh my, my goodness, God. down from the depths of mid, Team Liquid. Woo! They'll get a 15th on the board. And EG, they may just get thrown out of this game. That was their chance to make this a reality, but Nap is going to strip it away from them and twist. Find Cirque right through the doors. Liquid with the advantage up against Matt Point. Second time now, Twist has been able to beat Cirque in the head-to-head -to, -head to secure an advantage for Team Liquid. And when they're only up against the pistols, they're feeling confident and everything more. It's Stan and Ethan, two on five to try to keep the dream alive. The P250's doing damage, but it's not going to be enough. And Stanislaw, all alone, down in CT, armed with nothing more than a CZ. Surely this is undoable. They know he's here. They've got him trapped, and they shut him down. Team Liquid, they take their map pick of Dust 2, 16 to 11. Well, in this pistol round, it looks like you might eat those words, Hugo. EG setting up down towards the B ramp. Starting to creep up now. Ooh. And with Elise getting dealt with over in the window, the pressure's now on for Team Liquid. Over at the B site, Twists and Ooh. Nitro will answer the call. And, oh, not quite going to find that shot. Oh, on to Ethan. In fact, they actually go down on the back of him. So now it's only Stewie left in the blink of an eye. In a 1v2, does have an incendiary to try and divide these... Oh, oh, Tarek's man. already gotten past him. And three kills for Tarek in the pistol, two for Ethan, and the pistol round on the board for EG. Here it is. They're finally going to commit. The rotates are in, though. Liquid have three players inside of the site, and a fourth in middle. Twist is in the Molotov, but he's going to get a kill off before he goes down. Good damage on the second as well. This Molly stalls the push from EG. As... Actually, Nitro goes right into it. Nap is going to get a double with the orb, a collateral Ooh. as he follows up with a third. The bomb dropped, and Breezy alone has to clutch it out on his own. He's got the damage, and he converts the kill. It's just Stewie left up, and CT spawn. Breezy doesn't know. Stewie now, the man on the clock, coming in through CT. Breezy trying to reposition, oh, and the moment he looks away, Stewie swings on that peak. Not swimming in oh. cash anymore. Stewie 2 k is going to ring out with that AWP, and that's a good start in this round. Yeah, the sandbags position again, doing work for Liquid in this round. Yeah, they will be looking to take the middle. Nap with a grenade, finds significant damage. and spray as well, slows him down in the corner. And Stan takes a bit of a beating. He's going to walk into this orb now. It will not be getting pretty. Breezy does get an opener on A, but that doesn't force a rotation. It does force Stewie forward, though, for some reason. Nap now has to pick up the pieces of this round alongside Nitro. The spray is not there for the conversion. Breezy's still up, oh, and he is firing no. on all cylinders. Third kill in the round for Breezy with a deagle. Seven points of health, and Twist knows exactly where they both are. He's Got the drop on them, does he have the kills to follow? No! Oh, Breezy! Wow. Oh my! Yeah, the one thing that scares me is the only player who isn't fully armed into this round is Twist. He is, as of right now, the... Oh, 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 they go toe-to-toe -to -toe on the boost. Tarek comes out on top, as you would expect. Damage done by Nap there through the smoke. is able to get away with a little bit more. They know he's here on the generators. And he's generating a lot of power in this round as Naf Nitro swings on him for another. And Cirque gets cut down as well. Team Liquid, they get a leash back on the beast in that round. Going over that after the season. Anyway, back to the action. Trace, you uh, you know the Cloud9 guys a bit, so... I might know the answer to that question. Yeah, you might. Just maybe. I might. Possibly. Nitro's already dead, so EG may as well just commit, try and get that post plant down and cut off the retake from Liquid. If you can fall back and get players back on the ramp and short side with an open bomb, it's so good for the team. Stan, oh, he's fallen off the box. He's going to get tagged, but luckily does survive that oh. engagement. The bomb gets planted, Stewie gets burnt out, and this retake, it might not be possible. It might just be a save. Tarek doesn't want to let them get away with their guns or their lives, and he will take both away from Twists. Now, go on, do it. Oh! Oh, he's done what? it! The flash Shuts actually just down. kills Stan. Yeah, that's so upsetting. Good he tries grief. to fire based on timing, anticipating the peak coming on through. 
and that leads to Stan's demise. Oh my word, what a way to take the man advantage. Stewie's going to extend it further. Once again, this ramp progression from... Oh my goodness, what is happening in this round? Naf, put the orb away. Stop, give them a break. It's too unfair. Oh, Breezy does at least put something in favor of EG. It was about time. As he shut down Elise over at the B-bomb site, now has to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Naf. And, well, not the guy I would want to be facing anytime soon in this round. And look where he is. He hit the timing. He just beat Breezy into the site. There's no way they know he's at the back of the quad with the orb. They just saw him in middle get two kills. So Naf, element of surprise, and he will say goodbye to Breezy. Deeg is out to clean oh. up the round, but Tarek will stand tall for a moment at least. If they can deny the plant, that'd be great. And there's a player in the site he's not ready for. Twists, closing it out, and Saving the orc for Nav. Getting in the face of EG it certainly seems like it. Utility going up fast, but Stan is faster. Through the smoke, Elige is gone. That's a huge kill for EG, who won this seventh round of the half. Yeah, Ethan's a little too hot as well by this <laughs> Molotov. Getting tagged by it. Nav's gonna oh, oh, oh. Bit of a bit of an exchange over towards the wall buying spot of ramp, and Stan comes out on top, and amongst that madness, Ethan pushes up and deals with the other player over here at A. So right now, this site is almost right for the taking. However, Naf is looking to, to, to dig Team Liquid out of this hole. He's repositioned to keep an eye on the elevator room with two players here. Ooh. They are more than ready for this oh. peak, and Cirque will shut it down. Twists all alone, back in CT. He knows only where one man is and was not ready for Breezy. I think you've got to give some respect on Breezy's name. He's 18 to 10, second in the server, but top for ADR, 139 in comparison to Naf's 123. So Breezy's been a very heavy hitter here in the first half. Is that set to continue in the pistol round? It's messy, three. it's sloppy, and it's a three on three because somehow, some way, Team Liquid have been able to keep this even Stevens, and now they extend it even further on the back of a liege getting that kill onto Stanislaw. Love this. They're waiting. They know that EG at some point are going to be tempted to peek this ramp, try and unlock the little treasure trove of information. Are they still there? Ooh. Liquid leaving. And has Ethan caught a timing? What? No! A liege <laughs> quick on the trigger. And now this leaves Breezy all alone. Now we were singing his praises. We were saying how important he's been. And if there ever was a time to show it off, it's in this pistol round in the 1v3. Breezy trying to look over the top of this smoke, wow. but Elise delivers in spades. I don't even know I, how he saw I, towards the ramp side. This is a good read from uh, from Liquid, rather, as EG were so heavily set up on A. Four players in that position. So, you know, the, the top performer on the other side is on B, so Breezy can certainly put up a bit of a beating here on the defense, and he's calling for rotates already. There's a man here in the form of Tarek. The setup class is good. Spray is there. Twist knows where to predict. But does he know Tarek is here as well? Playing the smoke like a tank. He's going to come in from the back line. Here he is. A bomb pot. There's a two for one here. And he's got them both. Keep up the spray. But Nap will send him oh. back in with a follow up through the smoke. Nap wants to close this out in two. And now he's got to do it in the one on two. Pistol out. Cirk finds him and keeps this orb in the hand of EG. That was a must win round. He's a little bit worried perhaps about players making the run over towards the ladder. Does just go back, status off. What? I don't know how he wins that. The flashbang looked good. He got moved out of position on the back of it, but somehow, some way, he's been able to keep this round even. Harry's going to begin his rotate back to A, and that is well timed because Liquid are about to execute here. The smokes are down. He's been getting stuck on them, trying to move them, but, you know, very little you can do at, the, at this point. They could boost up at the back of the site. Nitro, will he be ready for that fight? And instead just sitting close behind this utility and spam will come through. There it is. Nitro dropping one. The bomb might get blown out of the water. Nav getting killed after he plants. Serg with the wall bang has kept things even. A lead with the Krieg, though we know how good he is at finding these tap positions and even spamming the wall to stop EG from pushing into this site. That smoke will cause a lot of problems for Liquid as they need to find a player around it. Defuse can come through. No one's on it just yet. And he gives away his position. They're going to start to swing on him. They still haven't taken this defuse. Cirque's gone down. They tap it, but it's only a fake. They're going to swing off the back of it. It's Twist to clean it up. Liquid on 12. He's ready on the short side. He saves the orb. And he saves the day for this T side. Of. Oh, Stanislaw looking like he might even start to cheat his way over towards this B site now as well in an abandoned position. Breezy does win the first fight. Tarek there to help alongside him. Twist 
In with the response, EG, they sit a man up, they still have Tarek inside of the bomb site, and he's still laying down the pain. For NAF, there's just simply not enough time to put these kills on the board. And so EG, they've held on. They've been able to keep a ninth going their way. Leech creeping, crawling up the top side. Ethan's hiding behind the smoke, but... Once that fades, he's going to have somewhat of an advantage being above it. Elige inside of it. It's a battle of the fade, and Elige will find the shot. Nathan going down. Stan still hiding. Cirque's been picked up. Elige again with a creed, showing us what to do and how to do it. Stan has to control the spray, and while well, it's a nice try, Elige is just ready for it. He predicts the position, and he finishes off the job. Four on two here for Liquid. Missed flash of Elige, but really at this point, it doesn't matter. EG are hoping for a hero. Will that man be Tarek? No. We get our answer very, very quickly. The hero has to be Breezy. And in a 1v4, wrapping in through mid, yeah, it's not happening for Breezy in this round. He's just going to try and hold down here. Can they rise to the occasion? I mean, this is the question. This is going to have the outcome in the bag. Does cut down the first. Nitro trades. And now we look to Ethan to be our bastion of hope, to be the man to oh, get the job done. No. But Twist is ready. And Ethan almost gets away with it too. If it wasn't for that meddling twist down towards the bottom of ramp, Breezy and Tarek two on four to deny match, series, championship point the way of Liquid and no kills are coming in. Once again, it all falls onto a familiar face. Breezy dinked on down on his initial peek into the site and all he can do surely is look to hold on to this Famous and armor, which is just devastating. Three Famuses and two pistols, e.g. desperation here on the CT side of Vertigo. It may have been their map pick, but Liquid, well, they will steal it right from underneath them. Elise getting flashed into middle, and he won't even get the kill. Nav's going to steal it away. Hungry, running and gunning for the this MVP. Elise needs to check close, and he will. Only a dink out for Circuit. It's not going to be enough. It might just be done. Yeah, what a statement from Liquid if they're able to get it over the line, and it certainly looks like it. Stanislaw is the last man remaining. All that stands between Liquid and winning this season of the Pro League. Team Liquid, they get the best of five, done in two, as they take this one. Team Liquid, your champions for the ESL Pro League season 11 in NA. Triumphant moment brought to you here.